with us, Savani Sis. Today we're going to talk about joy, joy is, is a, a choice. choice. Yes. Go on, Kashmir. Okay, so obviously there are many techniques to, you know, finding joy in the worst of situations. Because it's easier said than done, isn't it? When people say happiness is a choice, happiness is a choice, it's easier said than done. Sometimes you think, oh, screw it. You don't know what I've been through. I've been through hell. You know, I'm going through turmoil, this and that, and this is happening in my life. How the hell can I be happy in this turmoil, traumatic situation? But guess what? It does require conscious effort. You can reframe the situation. You can put a new frame over the picture of what's going on in your life. Just imagine that. You have a painting and you put a different frame on it. It completely changes the painting because the frame is different. You can do the same thing in your life. So you can put a new perspective on things. You can put a new spin on things. You know the saying, right? Every cloud has a silver lining. It's such a cliche statement, but it's true. And I know of many, many successful people, and I don't mean successful just in the financial monetary terms. I mean success in terms of happiness, in terms of love, in terms of abundance. It's because they made the conscious effort initially to find that happiness and joy in the worst of situations and things have just turned out better for them. Why? Because they started to emit a joyful, happy frequency to the universe. What, when we mean joy is a choice, and you've probably heard things like happiness is a choice, it's a very common thing, you can Google it and there'll be loads of articles on it. When you say it's a choice, what we're saying is it's a conscious decision. You make a conscious decision. In order to do that, you have to first be self-aware. So you be aware of the situation, and you know that something's going on that might not feel very pleasant, but you then choose to look for the good in it. You choose happiness or you choose a better feeling thought to make you feel better. This is what you have to do on a daily basis, actually. It's a daily practice that you choose to be happy because there's lots of things outside of us that's going to trigger us and make us feel unhappy, right? Yes. All the time. And so that choice to be happy has to be a daily thing that you do all the time. Sometimes when we're not feeling happy, it's because there's a sense of loss, that we've lost something. It could be sometimes a loss of respect. It doesn't have to be loss of an actual object or a person, but it could be loss of respect. Or it could be that you have a strong opinion about something and you're very attached to it. When somebody doesn't agree with you, you feel a loss, like you, you've lost your opinion because that person doesn't respect your opinion and so that makes you unhappy. So it's when you have attachment towards things and that's including your own thoughts and opinions and beliefs and also obviously things outside of material objects and people outside of you and relationships. When you're so attached to it, then you've got more of a chance of feeling that unhappiness because if it's not there or if it doesn't meet your expectations, what happens? You feel upset. upset. Yeah, you feel upset. Yeah. The key, ideally, is not to be attached to anything. <laughs> you know, not to be attached to your own opinions, not to be attached to your beliefs, not to be attached to people around you. Um, but that's like... Oh, that's, I don't know, that's really... We know that's really <laughs> challenging. It's <laughs> really challenging. We're attached to our bodies. We're attached. Our soul is so forgotten because it is so attached to the fact that we even the have physical. a body. The physical, right? And then the body is attached to your house, your car, your relationships, all the material objects in your, in your physical realm. You're attached to all of these things because you have a body and you're so attached to the body. So the key actually is detaching from the body, but that's when you start to reach that enlightenment stage, right? And when you start to live simple and then you're just happy no matter what so even if you lost something like you lost your car you lost your house you lost a, a relationship or something or you lost your parents or your brother or your sister it, it it won't affect you that much like it won't affect you as much as the average person yeah. <clears throat> when you make happiness a choice it doesn't then affect you it doesn't mean that you're going to be happy if you lost your entire house but it means that you won't be as devastated right as somebody else who might have not practiced joy as a choice so yes you find that you're able to cope with things better in life so when you practice joy as being the choice you know you practice being happy you mm. practice being joyful every single day when something bad does happen you're able to handle it it doesn't feel as bad you don't feel like your whole world is crumbling you know you can cope with it better it's like Viktor Frankl 
um, there were two people who, Viktor Frankl and this other man, who suffered the same tortures yes. in the concentration camps. This is a classic and story. Viktor Frankl ended up using that experience to write a book, inspire so many people around the world, and become really successful and actually grow stronger from the experience. And, and it was a very traumatic, it was a horrendous experience. Yes. And then the other person who actually experienced exactly the same as Viktor Frankl in those concentration camps ended up having mental health issues and being in a mental health institute right. institution. So, but they both had the same experiences. Why is it one could handle it better than the other? Yeah. Some, some of us are conditioned that way. We have that kind of... Negative um, disposition. Is negative disposition. Been, you've been consciously competent in practicing negative thoughts, making you a negative person. Well, it requires more conscious effort to start thinking positive, right? To start to see I bad think the question is just something that just occurred to me. Yeah. You know um, our guru, the, the, the man that we respect so much, we call him our oh, guru yes. because we just <laughs> changed our lives. And um, <laughs> yes, you know. uh, yeah, that name that we weren't mentioned that you just kind of did. Oh, I did oh. Oops. <laughs> We're not supposed to mention his name really. But um, he's the one that is always thinking positive. Oh, yes. Big time, big time. He's had the biggest disasters. Disasters that will make you quake in your boots. You will shake, right? And you will just run miles away from it. He Some has suffered, the, yeah, and for me as well, us as well. But he has suffered the most craziest disasters and yet he finds joy. Yet he is laughing, smiling, popping the champagne, you name it. <laughs> That's true. We wish we could all like that. We were yes, but we're working towards that, you know. And this is our journey, and your journey will be uh, whatever it is, you know, whatever you decide it to be. But just know that you do have a choice. You know, people sometimes think, well, the world is an awful place. Everything's going wrong. Economy. My relationships are ending. Everything is just falling apart around me. What have I got? What have I got to be happy about? Exactly. You know, but there's always you can always choose. You can't choose to get that relation you can't get that relationship back if it's ended um, you may not be able to at that moment in time you may not be able to change anything outside of you right but remember you create your own reality you have full creative control over your thoughts that you think nobody can take that away from you and you have abundance of thoughts that you can choose to think think about that you didn't have to go to a shop and buy it it didn't require money to buy a thought you've got it right here in your own brain you have a choice to think whatever good thought you want to do. That's your happiness. That is why happiness is a choice. Wow, that was very passionate. <laughs> <laughs> no. I get passionate so, about these things. So just remember that anytime, next time you're faced with a difficult situation. Yes. What you want to think about is, can I reframe this and look at it in a different way? If somebody said something unpleasant to you or horrible and it's clearly they're being mean, you know, yeah. um, you can still take res full responsibility for your own emotions and your feelings and your thoughts. You can say, right, I'm going to look at this in a different way. Yes, I'm not condoning their behavior or saying what they said is right, but what I can do is actually look at it differently that they might have had a really horrible day yeah. or a horrible life. Play the understanding they're, game. They're very, um, insecure or low self-esteem or they're hurt yeah hurt right. people hurt remember that yeah guys. hurt people hurt they're so to their own issues and they just projected like it on you it doesn't feel so much like i'm the victim and they've said all this to me it just in fact it makes them feel like they're they're the ones that are suffering more than than you are and so it's a difficult situation in that moment in time but in time when you can start to look at it like that you can actually start to feel a bit of compassion towards people um, and, and more love towards people, even when it seems like they're, what they're saying is wrong to you. Um, and that's a wonderful feeling, because then you're not carrying all this hurt or this anger or upset inside of you. You, you have that choice to rise above it. So and that also awesome. is a practice. That's all you want to say? Anything else? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> all right, so that's all for now. Um, we'll be sharing, obviously, some more videos. So stay Every tuned. Thursday, stay tuned. Subscribe and we might talk about channel. happiness, joy is a choice again. Yeah, because it's a, it's a huge subject. And it can be repeated in many different ways. Like, and we can give many different examples as well. Exactly. So stay tuned for more videos. And we'd like to say bye for now.